Hi, I'm Steve Nelson with another Caltrans News Flash. Today we're at our Echo Summit Yard with our Avalanche Control Team. and We're going to fly up oxygen and propane tanks at our GasX system at 7,600 feet. I'm here with Bill Netto. He's head of our maintenance operations for South Lake Tahoe. We're up here at one of our avalanche control centers. Bill, can you tell us what we're doing today? Yeah, we're changing out the bottles in this shelter here. It's uh, really a remote shelter, and we're getting really low on oxygen and propane that controls the cannons, or feeds the cannons. So if you didn't have this type of system up here, what would be the impact to Highway 50? Uh, the road closures would be a lot longer. We'd have to go revert back to the old-fashioned way that we used to do it by shooting projectiles from the gun mount and throwing hand charges and stuff like that. And the closures, when we do that, the closures are a lot longer than what they are with the current, with the new system here. I'm here with Jeff Crawford. He's part of our avalanche control team. Jeff, can you tell us how the system works? Well, the system works is it's fired remotely from the computer in the office or a laptop. And it's a propane of oxygen and propane that mixes in some dosing tanks, which from the shelter here runs down to the gas X system, the cannons, and that's how you get the explosion, just a mixture of propane and oxygen. Yeah, I'll let you know when it's ready. High above Highway 50 at 7,600 feet, I'm Steve Nelson with another Caltrans News Flash.